Hi everybody. This video was sponsored by Lululemon. I'm doing something kind of crazy today. I'm a little bit frightened. Also, I dyed my eyebrows the other day. It's a really long story. They look really bushy and dark. Just ignore that. It's just like, let's just act like it's not happening. Maybe you didn't even notice. Today, I'm going to try to run a marathon with no training. Why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing this because I know that, okay, actually, I don't know. Why am I doing this? Well, recently I've been getting into running. I've been running a few times a week. I just wanna see what I'm capable of for no reason other than just why not? Like, there's no real reason for why I'm doing this. It's just kind of like, why not? A marathon is technically 26.2 miles. Am I going to be able to run 26.2 miles? I can almost guarantee you that that won't happen, but, I'm gonna try to get as close to 26 miles as I can. And that's today's video. We're just gonna see how far I can run. You know what they say, shoot for the stars. No wait, shoot for the moon. And even if you miss, you will land among the stars. That is how I feel about trying to run a marathon. I have not prepared at all. I just woke up this morning and made a coffee. I don't know what I'm doing. I did not train at all, like I don't know what I'm doing. So the likelihood of me being able to succeed at a full 26 miles is slim. But we're just gonna see how far I can go regardless. Maybe if I end up enjoying it, I will actually start training for a marathon. Although, I don't know if I love running that much. But regardless, that's what we're doing today. Before I start getting ready to leave for my run. This video is sponsored by Lululemon. Every feature Lululemon designs, every fabric that Lululemon creates, every sensation that they engineer is all created with one purpose, and that purpose is to unlock your full potential, which is very relevant with today's video because I'm really gonna try to unlock my full running potential today. There's so much research that goes into even the smallest features called the science of feel that really sets Lululemon apart and makes them them. So first I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing for my run. The energy bra. It's Lululemon's most versatile bra. The Luxe Dream fabric is sweat wicking, has a four way stretch, is breathable, and feels slick and there's no friction. I think this is a perfect bra for running. That's why I'm wearing it today on my run. All of those features support the act of running perfectly, especially sweat wicking. I'm a very sweaty person, so I am grateful for that feature. I'm also wearing the Lululemon Fast and Free leggings. The New Looks fabric has weightless coverage, has an engineered four-way stretch, is sweat wicking, quick drying, breathable, and is very cool and sleek. It comes in high rise and super high rise, and it comes in sizes zero to 20. And you can also get different inseam lengths. They have 25 inches, 28 inches and 31 inches. The inseam is basically how long it is. There's two side pockets in here and five waistband pockets and a continuous draw cord. But for after my run, when I'm stretching, relaxing, let me show you what I'm gonna be wearing. For after my run, I'm going to be wearing the cloud bra and the aligned leggings. It feels like you're wearing next to nothing. They're distraction free. They have even support, all because of the new Lou fabric. There's minimal design lines. The Like a Cloud bra is so incredibly comfortable. It has molded foam cups that are lightweight, breathable, malleable, very comfortable. And it has light support for light impact activities. But that was my little Lululemon haul. Shop now at lululemon.com. Thank you again to Lululemon for sponsoring this video. Now let's get running. So I did do a little bit of research on running a marathon and it sounds like you need to be fueling yourself throughout your run. So I thought I would bring myself a snack. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh God. I was thinking dates with peanut butter. Dates have glucose, which is sugar, which helps fuel you when you're exercising. Do I know what I'm talking about? Not really. Peanut butter, put it inside of the date, push it together. A little date and peanut butter sandwich. Running after eating for me is not good. I'm frightened to eat breakfast this morning because I don't want that to affect my run. So I'm going to just bring this as a snack. Whenever I run after I eat, it starts to like come up my, my esophagus. Anyway, so we have a snack. Next, we're gonna be bringing a water. I'm nervous. I have an energy drink here. I have my water. I also brought for after my run a coconut water because coconut water has electrolytes in it, which help 
replenish the electrolytes in your body that get lost when you sweat, a lot of yada, 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 whatever. Okay, I didn't think I would be nervous for this, but I'm genuinely like frightened. Let me give you a background on my experience with running to start. So I did a little bit of running in high school, which would make you think like, oh, Emma, you're gonna be great at this. No, because I was terrible. I don't think I've ever ran more than four and a half miles. A few times a week, I've been running two and a half, three and a half miles. I'm learning to love it, like truly. 26 miles is not an easy feat. We will see what my willpower is like today, whether or not I can push through the pain, because it's inevitable that this is going to be difficult. I do not think there's a world where I'm gonna run 26 miles, but I don't know. We're just gonna see. We'll see what happens. I mean, we'll just simply have to see what happens. Like, I don't know. I'm driving to the beach. I decided I wanted to run by the beach, which it might be kind of cold out, so I did not think about that. I've always envied people who get runner's high all the time. Runner's high is basically when you run for so long that you start to feel euphoric and happy or whatever. I've always envied people who experience that, but maybe today. I'm not there yet, but I really have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I just stopped at a grocery store. I'm gonna pick up some, I think I want to eat sushi after I'm done. So while I'm in the grocery store to use the restroom, I'm also gonna get some sushi. Is it gross that it's gonna sit in my car? A little bit, but I don't care. I, I think I literally have to go to the bathroom, not because I actually have to go to the bathroom, but because I'm genuinely so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm gonna go sit on the toilet now. <laughs> Okay, I successfully used the bathroom, but I did not successfully get sushi because apparently the grocery store doesn't put gr their sushi out until afternoon and I did forget that it is 8.30 in the morning. So yeah, we're not getting sushi right now. Maybe I'll get it later, maybe not, but my dreams were crushed. I'm so nervous. I'm, why am I so nervous? Like. I'm like, listen, I'm here's my mantra, right? Here's my like philosophy with this whole thing. I'm like, I'm just gonna do the best that I can. If I run more than four miles, I'll be happy. That's not true. I wanna run like 10 miles minimum. Shoot for the moon. Because if you miss, you still land amongst the stars. We can do this. I have arrived, my nail broke. I don't wanna talk about it. I got them done yesterday. I am heartbroken right now. I literally got them done yesterday and one already broke. I'm honestly, I'm just gonna stretch and then get started. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to do. I don't know how else to prepare. Like, I'm just gonna do it. <sighs> Ow. There's nothing left to do. It's time to go. It's time to go, everybody. Mile in. I'm scared. Two miles. I'm tired. I'm at three miles. It's not getting easier. I'm at four miles. I'm taking a walking break to update you guys. Not because I'm dying or anything. <laughs> this is so much harder than I expected. I'm glad that I tried it. But I don't think I realized what running this distance felt like. Like even four miles, like I'm ready for bed. Five miles, I'm so done. I'm so done. I feel terrible. I really thought you could do this shit without training. Not the case. I hit six miles and I'm done. My body said, Emma, not today. My body is not having, having it, having it. I had to walk like a mile back to my car, but this has been the best walk I've ever taken. Like, I just feel Incredible. Oh my god, why was that so hard? I did bad. I did really bad. Oh my god, look at my snack. Okay, well, for one, I'm gonna drink some coconut water. I'm going to, like, listen, I'm going to clickbait the video and say running a marathon with no training because that was the concept of the video. But listen, I did not run even close. I didn't even run a half marathon. I ran six miles and then walked another mile so that's seven miles total a marathon is 26 miles a half marathon is 13 miles i ran a fourth of a marathon okay i didn't realize like the amount of training it takes to run long distance you can't just wake up one day and run 10 miles i didn't know that <coughs> i did just get a piece of peanut butter in my throat i'm having a rough time 
right now. Uh, I've never been somebody who can naturally long distance run, ever. Even when I did cross country in school, I was, it was the worst thing ever. Like I was so bad at it. So I'm not shocked at how much of a fail this was, but it was fun to try. Like, listen, I thought I could defy nature, defy science and just run 26 miles, but that's just not the case. Oh my God, I'm so tired. It was fun though. It was a fun experiment. I think what I would do differently next time is number one, I would run at a different time. Like I would eat breakfast, then go for my run because I think my first problem was that I tried to run on an empty stomach. Bad idea, don't do that. I also should have hydrated more last night and drank more water. I did not drink enough water last night or ever for that matter. I don't drink a lot of water. Definitely should have stretched more. Oh, I also went for a jog yesterday because I thought maybe that would help. I actually just think that that made me get tired even quicker. Also, I ran at like 5 p.m. <clears throat> So it hasn't even been 24 hours since the last time that I went for a job. That was stupid. I just did not prepare. Regardless, it was an experience. This just truly made me appreciate people who run long distances and really admire people who run long distances. If you can run 10 miles, I don't know how you do it. I need to go home. I thought I was going to leave the beach immediately, but I decided to just sit in my car with the AC on and look out at the ocean and just reflect. And the moral of this story is, the moral of this video is that failure is not a bad thing. Like, listen, did I technically fail at my goal today? Yes. Did I fail miserably? Some might say that. I'm not gonna be angry at myself. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm not gonna not post this video because my body was not feeling it. Was it technically a failure? Sure. But it wasn't because guess what? I ran probably more than I've ever run before. I never, I don't think I've ever run more than what? Four miles, five miles max? Like this was a first for me. I have a new found respect for people who have the endurance to run long distances. I got to hang out by the beach. Like listen, this was not a failure. This was a failure, but it wasn't. I think from this experience I learned that I actually don't ever want to run a marathon. <laughs> Regardless, it was it was a good day. But I do need to go home now and stretch and have a relaxing and pleasant remainder to my day. It's not only that it takes physical training, but it also takes mental training. You know what I mean? Like when I exercise, it's always like more leisurely, like comfortable. It's never like uncomfortable. I'm never pushing myself too far out of my comfort zone. And I think I prefer that. I think that's how I like exercise to be. I don't like it to be painful. I think that this taught me a lot about me and my personal fitness goals. My personal fitness goals are to get a nice sweat in, but have a good time. Running a marathon is not a good time. I'm gonna go home. I'll, yeah, I'll see you when I get home. I am very excited to get in there right now. I'm out of the shower. I'm in my comfy, stretchy, aligned pant and cloud bra. I'm not gonna lie, I am exhausted. I really, didn't expect that to take as much of a toll on me. I need to go get my nail fixed because my nail broke and I'm literally going on vacation tomorrow. And I got these done yesterday for my trip. I was thinking about going to the grocery store on the way home, but I was like, I think I smell bad. I just sweat maybe a little bit too much to go in public. So now I'm all showered. I'm gonna go get sushi. I also need to stretch. Those are the next activities. I'm so excited to get sushi. Ow. I'm gonna go get sushi now. Can you believe this? I literally got these done at 8 p.m. last night. They lasted 12 hours. Literally on my way to sushi right now. I go through different phases with food. I'll have a favorite food for like, sometimes up to six months. And then one day, I will hate it. And my favorite food for a while there was a specific salad. It was kale and beans and avocado and seeds and like this delicious dressing, I don't know what was in it. That was my favorite food, which it sounds dumb, but like I, I loved it, I was obsessed with it. My greatest joy in life. Why is it so good? Why do I get so much joy from this? 
Okay, but one day hit and I didn't like it anymore. <clears throat> so my new food is sushi. Explain it. Somebody explain it. I don't know what clicks in my brain and what changes my mind, but like right now I'm in a sushi mood. I don't think I'm ever gonna get sick of hummus. I've been eating hummus every day for like over a year. I'm not sick of it yet. I love it so much. Anyway, moral of the story is I'm on a sushi phase right now. Who knows what's next? Hi, um, can I make an appointment for today for an acrylic fill? All right, yeah. We'll see you, uh, uh, two. Okay, great, thank you. Nail appointment secured. Everything's coming together. How have I managed to do all of this before 2 p.m.? I don't know. Sushi haul! Yay! I'm so excited! This sauce, it's like, chili garlic sauce, wow. There's something so sacred about eating in your car. Like, I, it never gets old for me. Like, I'll always love it. Mmm, what a day. I just arrived at my nail appointment. Imagine me in a nail appointment. Imagine me in my nail appointment. Imagine me in my nail appointment. I'm trying to hypnotize you into imagining me in my nail appointment. Imagine in my nail appointment. Imagine me in my nail appointment. Did you guys hear that? It was literally not a fart, I swear. So, hey guys. Not only am I at home in bed with nails done, I also have a coffee. Wow, what a day. What a day. You know, there were some rough moments. I failed at my marathon. My nail broke, but there were some good things about today. I got to eat sushi. I still went on a nice long run. I actually prefer the navy blue nails more than the green nails I had, so that's nice. Feels really good to lay in bed though. My body already is getting sore. The other thing is that I didn't realize is that I was running on pavement. I normally run on a treadmill and treadmills are so much softer to run on. So I think that's another reason why I was struggling so bad because I was running on pavement and I never do that. I'm kind of sore. It's a lovely evening. I'm sitting outside. I'm enjoying the ambiance of the evening. I just wanted to thank you for hanging out with me today. We had a little bit of fun. We had a little bit of failure. We did it all today. Here's your forehead kiss. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I can't wait to hang out with you guys again next week, and then the week after that, and then the week after that, and then the week after that. Once again, this video is sponsored by Lululemon. Thank you to Lululemon for sponsoring this video. I'm wearing your comfy outfit right now. I love it. And I'll see you guys around. Goodbye.